4,000 layers on it. Eric, I'm kind of, you know, I'm a Patriots fan, yes. as you know. So I've been to some cold weather games. It's usually the game right before the Super Bowl up in uh, up at Gillette Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> because this is so new and it's coming in the middle of what's been a really warm fall, kind of a shock to the system out here tonight, wouldn't you say? It is, but i got to be honest with you, Fred, over the last few years, We've had a really easy fall. I mean, there's been uh, early October games where it's been just like this. We've had games in the snow, but this really is the first time this season that players and us, you know, media types have yeah. had to deal with this cold. Yeah. And it, it really isn't that bad when you think about it. Right. It's a lot worse. I, actually, I think it's, it's probably worse to the fans than yeah. it is for the players. Sitting on these metal bleachers is not fun. <laughs> and luckily, we have a Jeep parked about 50 yards away from here. So we go in there and warm up. But let's not tell you about that. But hey, I want to tell you about a player on the East Lime team, Fred. So there's a player out here. It's hard enough being a football player with, you know, balancing academics and all the practice time. But there's a player on this team who's also in the band, plays the French okay. horn. Let's tell you, we have some video of this player. Let's tell you about him. His name is Isaac Tomlin. Says he's been playing instruments since the sixth grade. As I mentioned, he's in the school's band. He plays in festivals. He started playing piano and trumpet. He says playing instruments and football aren't really that different, even though he was a reluctant musician as a child. I thought that band people were like kind of nerdy and I didn't like it. Um, but my mom said, hey, if you want to play the piano someday, you should just learn how to read music and then quit. And you have to know what's going on for not only you, but the people around you to actually be successful. And I think the part that appeals to me the most about all of it is the teamwork side where I get to accomplish something much greater than what I could have done on my own by being a part of a team. So he'll play a football game tonight, and I think at halftime we might see him out there with a horn in his hand, Fred. So wow. it should be very interesting. Yeah, hopefully his lips don't end up freezing to that uh, mouthpiece. Yeah, I played a little trumpet myself back in the day, and uh, I can get cold. Hey, so one of the uh, chain gang guys just came by, mm. and they're all bundled up as well. And they said, do not forget about us. Those are the guys on the sidelines who hold the markers, and they're bundled up too. So, hey, it's going to be a great night tonight, but it's going to be cold. Yeah, find the concession stand. Find the hot chocolate. I'll always know where the concession stand is, Fred. <laughs> right. Send it back to them? Yeah, I'll send it back to them. We're going to go back in the Jeep, warm yeah, up. We're going to go warm up. We're wimps. See ya. Just follow Eric to the concession stand. You'll be just fine. I Guys see are, nachos in his future. I know, me too. I'm with him. Uh,